Right, um, today we're going to make a short videos about the uh, K-Bud differentiation video. Uh, okay, this video I, I think is about rate of change because obviously now you can see the entire question is asking like, okay, when this guy actually walking toward the wall and then the shadow actually changing when he walked to the wall. You can obviously, if the spotlight is here, you can see when this man walked to the wall, the sh shadow should become a, a shorter and shorter. Lah. So you should be able to see the height of the shot, uh, the height of the shadow actually is decreasing. Okay, so we just go through the question really quick and then we go through the solution together. Okay, so they say the diagram actually show the spotlight is on the ground, which is 20 meter away from the wall. So you can see the spotlight is 20 meter away from the wall. A 1.8 meter tall man is uh, walking toward the wall. So this man, the height of this man is about 1.8 meter. And then at the rates of 2.5 meter per second. Okay, this one 2.5 actually is quite tricky because when students read 2.5, they do not know how to label this one. Because this question, the, the reason why this question is a K bar because they doesn't give you any variable. So you kind of need to like add the variable by yourself. So what I will do first is, um, since the guy is walking toward the wall, so I will just assume maybe the distance between the guy to the wall, I just call it as X. Okay, so when the guy is walking toward the wall, you can see the X value is actually decreasing, isn't it? So what's the rate of decreasing? I will just assume because they say 2.5 meter per second, right? So I will just assume X will decrease 2.5 meter every second. So two seconds, they will decrease like five meter. Three seconds, they will decrease like 7.5 meter. I keep on two, minus 2.5, minus 2.5, minus 2.5. You can get the idea, right? So therefore, this 2.5 here, I'm going to call it dx dt because the x here, the distance x here will decrease. Every second will decrease like 2.5. So negative 2.5 meter per second. So at the reason why you can see when the man walking to the wall, the X value will become smaller and smaller, right? Make sense? Okay, then I will add another assumption is the height of the shadow. I will just call it a Y. Okay, because yeah, we, we will need to find that one later. And then the height of the man is, uh, the height of the man, they tell me is 1.8 meters. So I just write it down also. Okay, they say how fast is the height of the shadow changing? when the man is 8 meter from the wall. So 8 meter from the wall, I will just assume this sentence actually telling me when x equals to 8, what is, uh, how fast is the height of the shadow when, when x equals to 8? Because they use the word fast here, is actually something changing one, is some, uh, some rate of change. Because how fast is the height? of the shadow changing, right? That means like uh, every second, maybe he decreased like 0 0.1 meter. Every second, he decreased like 0 0.2 meter. This is how that means by, uh, this is what that means by how fast the height of the shadow is changing. Okay, so is the shadow decreasing or increasing? So depend our final rate of change is positive or negative. Okay, so at that moment when x equals to 8, lah, because you can see x actually uh, is telling you about the uh, how far is uh, uh, away from the wall, isn't it? Okay, so over here you can see I have some uh, information to help me to actually get a similar triangle. Because obviously this triangle and this triangle they are similar, but then the problem is I don't have the uh, the length here. But it's not hard, right? The entire is twenty, right? So this is called twenty minus x. So I'm going to draw out these two triangle. And then so that you can see it is actually a similar triangle. So the first triangle and the second triangle. Okay, so obviously if this is the vertical line and this one is the vertical line, both of them are parallel and both of them share the same angle. So definitely this angle and this angle must be the same. And this line and this, both of these lines are vertical line. So that, and, and, and yeah, because parallel, right? So this angle and this angle will be the same. So they are similar triangle, no doubt. So here we y and here we 20 based on my drawing. And this one here will be 1.8. Here will be 20 minus x. So because they are similar triangle, I can just uh comparing their the 
height and length ratio. So I will just say y over 20 equals to equals to 1.8 over 20 minus x. Okay, so I will move my 20 to the other side. I will get like 36 over 20 minus x. And then I already know I need to do a differentiation because obviously this one is a rate of change question. So I will just move the 20 minus x to the top, to the top, so the power will be negative 1. Now I do the dy dx. dy dx for composite function, it tell me negative 1 need to move to the front, negative 36. And then copy the bracket, whatever inside the bracket, we just copy. And then the power will be minus 1, become negative 2. And then still need to differentiate inside the bracket because we differentiate 20 is 0, dif uh, differentiate negative x is negative 1. So we multiply negative 1. So after we simplify, it should be 36 because negative 1 times negative 36, right? Over 20 minus x, power of 2. Okay, and then normally I, I, I don't want to stop here because I want to start uh, substitute into the change rule. So I will need to know what is my x value. And then you do see, they say it's 8 meter from the wall, isn't it? So when x equals to 8, so I just sub into my dy dx. So my dy dx should be uh, 36 over 20 minus 8 is 12. 12 squared is 144. 36 over 144, I believe is 1 over 4, right? It's not mistaken because 144 is 4 times 36. Okay, so now I know my dy dx value. And then lastly, they want to know how fast is the height of the shadow. So the height of the shadow is y. So they want to know how fast is the height of the shadow. Basically, they are asking about when y is chang changing per second. Basically, they want to know rate of change of the height. Lah. So this is like y changing per second. So if I want to find this one, no doubt I can form the chain rule easily, like we, which is dy dx multiplied dx dt. Isn't it? This change rule you will need to write by yourself. Lah. Okay. So, but then I don't think it's hard, this change rule. So, then we will just insert whatever information we have here. So, I want to find dy dt. This is my objective. And dy dx, I already have. It's 1 over 4. And dx dt, I also have. It's negative 2 over 5. If I don't want to use uh, 2.5, negative 2.5. If I don't want to use calculator, I will just say it's 5 over 2. Okay. So, my final answer is negative 5 over 8. If you want to write the unit, I believe it's meter also. So it's meter per second. And then lastly, they say, is the shadow increasing or decreasing? So do, do you see a negative here? Since dy dt is negative, the shadow is decreasing. Okay, just like this, you should be able to get a full mark for this question. Obviously, uh, you can see, you, if what if the man is standing right in front of the wall, then the shadow actually is same height with the man, doesn't it? So they will decrease until 1.8. Okay, this is the idea on how to do this kind of k bar of the rate of change question. I hope this uh, short video do help you to understand. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye, guys.